Praise Allah Hashem, we should say to all our Jewish nation, Arbe Barachat, Slacha, Briyud, Arbe Disiad, Dishmaya, we come to Varecheta, Kov Ben Asher, Salmon Ben Nadia, Shitilhu, Hem, Mishpachtachem, Bador Torah, Mitzvot, Masim Tovim, Minut Hasadim, and Sadaka. Go on a path of the kindness and the Sadaka. Shalom Bait, Emeti, Bait, Zrat Hashem. We come to Varecheta. All the chayelim and chayelot, our dear soldiers, should come back with the tranquility and a peace and a happiness and a life. Gam tivarech et she akadosh baruch hu tachziram et achatufim achatufot. The kidnappers should come back alive. Beizrat Hashem in this month. Chen yaratzon v'romar amen. Elif avdalot ben amitim lechayim leidu nishmat sof asara bad tova ruva Hashem tenachina b'ganedin hi v'chol eshochim mima bichlar achmim v'aslichot yaratzon v'romar amen. Amen. We continue with our Ahavat Chesed. Ahavat Chesed, loving kindness. We right now, we spoke in a previous lectures, in a previous shurim, how big is Midat Chesed, kindness, what's the extension of it? goes for. Then we talked about the kindness. Now we're talking about tzedakah, charity. It says in Masechet in page 49, Tanu Rabbanan, our sages following say, Shlosha dvarim gdola gmilut chasadim ryotin mit tzedakah. Our sages say, three things are much greater, the kindness is much greater than the tzedakah. What does it mean? Tzedakah b'mamono, tzedakah, which is charity he does with the money. Gmilut chasadim ben b'mamono, ben b'gufo. When he does kindness, kindness whether it takes his time, that's considered kindness. Tzedakah is given with the money, not with the time. So gmilut chasadim, kindness, is greater in that, in that sense, in that topic. So he says, what means we do kindness with our money, which is charity, which is when a people need any money to be loaned, which is borrowed, you give them the money to be borrowed. Or he says, let me borrow your car. Or let me borrow your tools. It's considered all part of the charity. Gmilut chasadim ben gufo ben mamuno. Kindness is, is going to be done with his time and with the money. Kagon, let's talk one of the prime examples. Maspit lamet. So somebody goes and eulogizes eulogy for the dead person, deceased person. Kovro, bury him, this is part of the kindness. Misamea chatan, make the bride and the groom happy. Malveta chaviro badelech. You're escorting your friend in a way that's also considered kindness. We think and we're doing it because that's the way, the proper way to do it. But a person, if he really have in mind, he's getting rewarded for every little thing that he does, as we explain. That's what the Rashi says. Charity, it goes to the people that he needed. But gmilut chasadim, kindness, is going to go is between the rich and poor. Tzedakah lechayim, charity is going to be for the life person. Gminut chasadim ben chayim ben amitim. Kindness is going to be to the people that is living and people that's already passed away. Mikol makom tzarech shetada, she adam bakam advarim yesh tzedakah adim mikol achesed. He says, in couple places, the charity is greater than the kindness. He says, Sadaka, charity, when a person gives, he gives without any return, which just means he able not to get return. But kindness, when a person let, lend, peop, lend people money, is considered that money will come back to him again. He says following, 
בלבד צדקה צריך להתגברות יצר הרע. When a person does charity, he needs to overcome his יצר הרע much more than when he does kindness, which just means with the charity, his יצר הרע is getting much greater than with the kindness. What does it mean? יצר רע יותר מפני שהתחסר ממונו מה שאין כן בחסד. He says when he gives charity, it looks like he's missing his money, which just means part of his money. בחסד על פול צער אגרה, על פום צערה אגרה. So he says when a person does kindness, with the kindness he is getting with the rewarded with the sweating. מה שאמרו בשבת, it says in the Talmud, in מסכת שבת, in page 63, גדול המלווה לעני יותר מן התן לו. It says somebody lend a person money is much greater than giving it to him money. היינו מי שירד נכסיו מתמוטט ידו צריך להחזיק באיזה הלוואה כדי להקימו זה הלוואה עדיף מהתנא כדי שלא יתבייש. He says the kindness over here when we give people money to lend we borrow the money and we lend to people money he says this is much greater than just give it to him a couple dollars and should not be embarrassed. אבל מי שירד לגמרי הורגל לקבל צרקתקה what if a person is in a constant stage of getting tzedakah, which just means charity. So somebody is giving it charity 100% without giving anything return, is considered much greater. It says Rabbi Eliezer Agadol in a chapter 16, in a dvarim 30, 15. Hashem says, look at it. I'm giving you today, I'm giving it to you today, Lefanecha, which just means in front of you. Et ha-chayim, I'm giving you a life, Veta tov, and a good, Veta ha-mavit, Veta ra. At the same token, I'm giving you the choose to pad, the, the dead, and the bad. Amar ha-kadosh baruchu, haro shnei dvarim halalu natnu lahem le-Yisrael. Ha-kadosh baruchu says in Sefer Dvarim, 30-15, Two ways I'm giving, life, good, dead, and bad. And I gave this to the Jewish nation. I gave one good, one bad. Says for good is life, for bad is the dead. And a tov, in a good, you have one charity, and one kindness. Ve'Eliyahu zachol letov memotza b'nehem. Eliyahu hanavit says was something in between. Sheba Adam lichnos Eliyahu machris v'omer pitchu sharim va'evo goy tzadik shomer emunim. So he says Eliyahu hanavit comes in, and he says whoever is a goy tzadik, which just means the righteous person, comes in and takes the charity the way he wants to take. Shmuel hanavit omed ben shnei drachim alalu v'omer be'ezet derech elech. Shmuel Anavi says following, in which path a person should go? Imelech b'shil chesed or shil tzedakah, tzedakah tova mimenu. Which path is greater? They put it on a scale. The charity or the kindness? Okay? V'imelech b'shil tzedakah shil chesed tova mimenu. Ela ani mi'id alai shamayim v'aretz. He says if a person goes on a path of the charity, kindness, it's much greater than a charity. He says, I make... Shamay me eat alai. Says the heavens, let the heavens be for me witness. Okay? Ve'aretz she'en maniyechet ashnehem ve'ikham le'atzmi. Ve'aretz she'amar ha'kadosh baruch hu Shmuel ata amati ben shnei drachim tovim ha'yelu ha'yecha ani noten lecha shalosh matanot tovod le'umdecha. He says, ha'kadosh baruch hu said, I'm giving three path to you, the three path that you pick for yourself. And I'm giving it to you as matana, as a present. Hashem says to Shmuel Anavi. Person does charity and kindness. He able to inherit three presents. Ve'eluhem, what is it? Three presents Hashem gave to the Jewish nation: chayim, a life; tzedakah, charity; v'kavod, which just means a respect. Shenemar. It says in the Mishle 21-21, King Solomon says following, 
Tzedakah v'kavod. King Solomon says following, somebody runs after the charity, and a kindness, he's gonna find a life, he's gonna find charity, and he's gonna find kavod. Kavod, which just means, he's gonna find the respect. Ayen sham. kol ma says, we read everything that we have, we right now reading everything that we have. That's why a person has to be very, very much to, to get this character of trait of the tzedakah very, very much. He says, we see he says, a lot of people refrain from themselves to come the people that they needed, come to them and ask him. They're just trying to walk away and that's what they're doing. They're not worried about him, about them. They leave him with the food without any substance that they need. They say, we have a good excuse. He says, we're doing for their own benefit. So what's their own benefit? He says, the more we're going to give to the people, the more poor people are going to come in. He says, that's why they lose money, because they don't want to help him. He says they have a couple charity funds. If that charity funds runs out, that's it. They cannot help him no more. He says they make a big mistake. Our sages say following. So what if a person keep asking for the charity? He says, we have an obligation to give charity every time. So what does it mean? If a person keep asking, if a person keep giving a quarter and a 50 cents and a dollar, let's say there's five people gonna come in, if he's gonna give to each one of them 50 cents, that's two dollars, 50 cents. I don't think person, or even five people, five dollars a day, that's a six days a week, 30 dollars, he will become poor from it. If people constantly ask him money for the ch charity, we give him 50 cents a dollar. It's nothing going to happen to the person. What are we going to say? We can't afford it? Not true. Muwara Gamra, Yoredi Yain, is Shulchan Aruch says following. Chasva Shalom is Gor Delet Baodo Le Gamre Pa Lifsog Le Chayuto. It says, God forbid a person should close completely his doors and should not give people a charity. It says in Baba Batra, so Ver Gamra, Sula Sot Bet Shara Delet, Chatser Hacha Al Yedeze, Ishma Kolanim, Tsakim Bachutz. The Gemara says in Baba Batra, in the Talmud, it says you should not make a gate that you're not able to hear a proper person when he's screaming, you cannot hear him. What about there's so many poor people are coming? So it says following. Almanod He says there's the widows, there's the orphans that need constantly money, and we should constantly help them. He says there's such a thing called peya shechalbeleket. In Eretz Israel, Hashem gave us such a mitzvah. I have a land. Peya shechalbeleket. Which just means, like it, and when I'm collecting the crop, whatever left behind, if a papa needs to papa walk, person walks behind me, whatever I left behind, it belongs to the person. It's the gift from Hashem. Is it, uh, you know sometimes you leave the crop because it's wrong. Do you, is that applied as well, 
No, it's talking about right now there's a time to, for me to collect the crop, let's say in April. So Moshe comes in behind me and collects it. Whatever I'm not able to collect, whatever I'm left and forgot, I didn't collect. The right. We we only collecting not ripes. We only collecting real fruits. Ripe means like ready to collect. But sometimes it's a water. Let's say tomato. You collect them when they're red. Let's just say right. you left the green ones on the field. No, we're that talking about no. We only we're only talking about that is that's already ripe, which is ready to go. Okay. So then two weeks later, the owner comes back to collect the green ones that turned red. Right. So the, the, the proper people need to know when he's collecting and they need to go after him and collecting. So the Hashem gave a present to the humanity, not through the humans. So you're gonna say, this is my field. I do whatever I wanna do. I wanna close the door. I don't want people walking after me. I don't feel comfortable. What is on top of me? He's breathing on top of me. That's considered, the sage says, no, you cannot do that. That's the Torah give the permission, like the mitzvah, that any mitzvah that we do, because Hashem says, if you give to the pauper, I'm giving him this as a present, and that present needs to be belong to them. Whether you like it, whether you're not comfortable, whether they're breathing on top of you, it doesn't make a difference. They need to, that's part of them, that belongs to them. Okay, so we continue. So the Torah gives like this, type of permission to the people that he needed. Rabbi Metzia. Afilu im rotzei lasot takana liten gam liyani olam mukfal shilahem. Devar muad gam ken en minagim olam yafi. Yesh misavim arbe shem misavim bishvil atzmo. Levad rak tfel tali. Abbe be beto al yedei sivo nisha lo miad. Lezo nishto banav shlo yamutu baraav. Shata nol delet bifne ata yored lechaye banav. Atufim baraav be beto. So it's the following. A lot of people, there's a lot of people that they needed in funds. There's a lot of people needed in rent. There's a lot of people need electricity, clothing. And we say, Rabbi, what are you talking about? You have this organization, you have this organization. What is, if all these organizations, what's part you have to do in this world? Nothing. <laughs> I am with my own family. I'm great, I'm happy, everything that I have. Chazal says no. Say, I will say, just says no. You need to go figure it out. There's a people out there. You're just closing your eyes and you're just closing your ears, which is means you don't want to hear it and you don't want to see it. Okay? So continue. So that's why the, the, in the Mishlei it says, Rodov chesed kavod. It says you should run after the charity. You should run after the kindness. You're going to find life and you're going to find charity and kavod and respect. So our sages already said this. So the, the general rule is how often we're able to run. You know, after we finish praying, we run to work. After we finish work, we're running from work to home. We're always running somewhere. But how often we run, whatever the Mishle over here says, is it optional or is not optional? Is it, is it must do or not must do? Is it, I want to do it, or I have choice, or I don't have a choice? So the sage says, measure for measure. You don't want to do it, same thing tomorrow is going to be to you. People, same thing, don't want it. Then don't scream, don't cry, why and why and why. The way you behave, that's the way that Hashem is going to behave. And that's the midakni, and we're forgetting that so often. We're thinking it's, it's okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a world of the free ride. Says he says, everything depends on a person's deeds. What does it mean? Lashon Rambam. My man, it says following. Pirush Maasim. He says, it does not depend how much you spoke. It depends how much deeds that you did. So what happened? It's, it's so funny, you know, when it comes to people, we just, you just, sometimes you don't want to say things because you don't want to, we, in the United States of America, we're very sensitive. 
right? We cannot say many things. We say it, we make others to feel uncomfortable. We're not supposed to be say it. We, in English it's called your straight shooter. So there was a case and I said, there's a Brit Mila, why don't you give me the Brit Mila? And he told me, uh, he gave me, he gave me excuse, whatever it is. And he says, why don't you, he's giving me advice now. He says, why aren't you promoting yourself? Okay, great, I like it. I said, that's not what I'm telling you. I already know what it means promoting. You're not gonna tell. Then he comes to me and he says, can you help me in my business? So can I say the same thing? Why you need me? Just promote yourself, do, do public. Can you say that? You're gonna say, guys, some of you would say yes, some of you say. If you wanted the same answer, you wanted the same thing, so you're expecting to help, right? You want me to, as an individual, and I'm asking you, if that's the case, so why you need me? Say, same thing I tell you, do promotion, you want your business to be grow, put in a newspaper like he told me, right? He says, promote yourself, same thing. So this is the individual that we're living, we're so in blind. So when I'm gonna say this in a straight up, you're gonna say that you, it's, a wrong say, it's, a wrong, it's a wrong thing to do, wrong thing to say. No, I'm sorry. You, you want to expect something, make sure that you expect the same thing. It's not one-way street in life. But we're used to so much one-way street, we don't remember two-way streets no more. And I see this more and more and more and more and more. And I said, if you my friend, you consider, I have others that give me and not my friend, that means what is it? You my friend, but I'm doing the business separate in a, in a different way. That's not friendship. That's called using. So a person has to know, if we consider as a friend, the first thing my friends comes in. No matter what, in no matter what given situation. But we keep forgetting that. And we keep forgetting, and keep forgetting. And pretend we don't see. As we continue, so it says Ramba, everything depends how much person did his deeds. So it says, what if a person wants one big charity and he says, that's it, I'm finished. He says, that's not the way it works. The charity and the kindness work as a continuation. He says, what's the parallel? parallel? He says, imagine giving to a person thousand golden coins. Or giving to the thousand people thousand golden points, to each one coin, to thousand people. What's much greater? From the business perspective, when I'm gonna collect this thousand to the thousand people. Allah Khalqi speaker, is not, it doesn't have to do that. But much, what's much greater to give to thousand people and to get that back or to give to one person lump sum? We're all thinking, the, the reality says, give to one person lump sum, hundred, one thousand golden coins and you're able to collect. But if you give to thousand people, how many grateful will be people to you by giving them thousand to each one, 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 one. No, but the people will be grateful, much grateful. And you do a lot more mitzvot like this. So the Rambam says, what's much greater? When you do lump sum, you collect, and you say, that's it, I finish. Once a year, we do, we, we have a beautiful saying. We say, oh, we have, a, we have an organization once a year, the rabbi collects it, and we're good. I just gave. One year already passed by. But he's not realizing there's a one year passed by. So, Mm-hmm. 
paska mimenu. He says a person gives thousand, or he gives to each one, to a thousand people. He says he does one big action, but afterwards it's fade off. But if he gives to the thousand people, that action is continuing. And the mitzvah is continuing. He says, it's not the same parallel. He says, imagine 10 people in a jail, if a person takes out only one person or 10 people, what's greater mitzvah? Taking the 10 people. What's greater mitzvah to do to one person the kindness and the charity or to the 10 people? The Chazal says, do the mad, do the 10 people. It depends how many more deeds that you did, not the great deeds that you did. Great, which is means given to one person, thousand, or given to thousand person, each one to one one. Says so that's what counts. He says, when you imagine you have a big factory, and a factory every time given. We're buying, brand new, uh, we're buying fresh bread every time, every week. You're getting connected to the person. That makes a person stronger, and is a continuation of doing tzedakah. He says, don't only you think it about yourself because you're doing it, you're getting kavod, you're getting respect, you're getting charity. Don't forget, after 120 in the Lavaya, all these people are going to awaken and they say, one day this person did so and so and so. He says, not only that, you're breaking, there's a two scales in the world. There's a judgment scale and there's a kindness scale. There's a category of a sanigoria. Prosecuting angel, and there's the opposite of prosecuting angel. What do you call this, Rabbi Nisim? Defense. And defense angel. Prosecuting and defense. He says once a person does a lot, a lot of great deeds, he's creating for the Am Yisrael, is the defending angel. But if we do it once in a while, when we come and knocking in the doors of people, that's considered he's doing a chas v'shalom prosecuting angel. So we need to weigh it, and we need to put it in a scale. Sometimes it's just uh, unbelievable. Gam etzem tzadakan mitayet aze arbe meir sheani olech baatzmo pam yiten lo balabayit mitzad mitzvah pam mitzad hamela yoter kifi hashiur. So he says it all depends. One time you're going to give him for the food. One time you give him for the mattress. Sometimes you give him for the clothing. There's a, all the time you're able to do gminut chasadim, kindness and charity, all the time. Let me make a general rule. And that's a general rule across the board. No person became poor from the charity. We already said in Parashat Ruma, in the Zohar HaKadosh, but you said, we said in a previous year, I gave charity, but I became poor. I did kindness, I did lose money in the so-so-called businesses. Yes, losing money because there's a sin upon you. The reason you lost the money because there's a sin upon you. But you guarantee, yes. Eventually, you will be guaranteed. The Zohar says that eventually, Parashat Truma, eventually that would come to him. Whatever the, the good in people's eyes, the good be forgotten, one, two, three. In HaKadosh Baruch Hu, there's no good forgetness. There's no En Shechicha Lifnei Hashem. There's no forget. Hashem does not forget. So don't, don't, don't think that Hashem forget that you did some deed and it's forgotten and He left you, God forbid, alone and that's it. It's not humans. Humans, we like to close our eyes and our ears. But Hashem, no. So Zohar says, even he has a sin, even Hashem took his money because he made a sin, 
eventually it's going to still pay him. So it says, our Savior says, when a person gives charity, he's never going to be pump poor. He says, not only that, this is opposite of common sense of humanity. When a person has $100 and he gave $10 out of this $100, he's missing money. That's the reality. You cannot go against the reality. Our Savior says no. That's the, against our understanding. That's beyond our understanding. Our Sages say, Im ra'ita adam mefuzar, it says following, lebalabayit shen adam ma'ani mitzadaka. He says a person cannot be poor from the charity. Let's understand it. But Midrash Mishle katuv amar Rabbi Abahu. Rabbi Abahu says, Im ra'ita adam mefuzar ma'otav letzadaka, v'yedehu mosif. He says, you know if a person spending his money, which is giving charity and a kindness, he says he adds to his account, he says. Who says this? Not me, the wisest man in the world. Shlomo Amelech, King Solomon, Mishle 11.24. Yesh pezer v'nusif ot. He says, if a person gives, Hashem is giving him. He's actually adding to him. He gave out of hundred dollars, ten dollars. Not only is going to receive the ten dollars, he's going to get extra bonuses. Our sages compare charity to planting a seed. Okay, Rabbi, what does it mean? Hosea says in a ten twelve, "Zaru lechem letzadaka kol asher yosib bazriya yosib b'ktira." Our sages say, when we uh, take a seed and we plant. The more we plant, the more seeds we are plant, the more fruits and the crops that we have. We're not talking about cases that the lactose ate it or the, all of a sudden became co cold. We're not talking about in those cases that we're always, I understand also humanity always pick extreme cases. And out of these extreme cases, they make this case part of the life. General does not happen. Okay? So it says over here, the more you're going to plant the seed, the more seeds you plant, the more you're going to collect. That's what it says in a Hosea. If somebody runs after the charity, Akadosh Baruch Hu is going to find the money for him and he's going to give the money to the person. So far for good. Anhagad nosim gorin gadol balabatim, apetuchim b'maad adam. He says people work in people. They don't do charity. They don't do often charities. Yishani olech ba'asmo achar noten leh prosot lechem lefi asagad yagom. Yadom mikayem azeh mitzvah tzadaka b'chol yom. You give every time a person. Hey, can you buy me a food? Hey, can you buy me a clothes? Hey, can you help me over here? Every time, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to mosif. Ma shekem fi'il takanav shelo eniech la'anim lachzor ha'pitachim. Ete ma'od davar katsuv yechzor mitzvah tzadaka. Lechalek godel ma'anshe ha'ir. Ve'en ba'yor ha'deya. Shemikoach shemar gadol avon me'akev et ha'rabim la'asod ha'mitzvah. He says, one of the biggest sin a person could make, other people wanted to do the mitzvah. He says, why would you give this money to other people? So that makes a person to be a sin. And we heard this through the board. Why are we hearing these type of things? It's the one reason only. We're not educated on it. We're not subject to it. We don't want to listen to it. When a person is not educated in a certain places, in a certain fields, he doesn't care. That's the nature of the humanity. But if we learn the topic very well from beginning and end, by me learning, you guys learning, and whoever listening is learning, I'm able to so cold, not cold, it's a reality. If I'm used to go around and I see people just telling me, give me here, give me that, okay, you give them. Now you just look, don't look at him, I just, just by the way, you're gonna go and you're gonna give it to him. Because you know what the topic is about. You know what are you doing, you're aware of what are you doing. You take into the responsibility. So, 
כתוב מכוחה במסכת כתובות, איססן התלמוד, עם פייג' 67. מעשה דאמר הוא כבר מצווה יותר לחלק מזון לעניים, חלק להם מאוד. מר הוא כבר ססס, what's better, to give money or give food? מר הוא כבר ססס פולווינג, כי על ידי מזון מקברי הנייתה של עניים, he says, back then in Gemara, he says, the best way to give through the food. מה שכן, כן, ב... שנותן להם מאוד, הם צריכים ללכת לטרוח לקנות. He says, when you give them money, you need to go and they need to buy it. אך לפעמים נתן לעניים כגון, אני צריך מאוד יותר כדי לעשות שאר הצרכיו. I will say to you, says, sometimes he needs money. So give him the money, he says. או שהוא יורד מנכנסיו. או he fell down from his money, which is he lost money. זה קרוב מתבייש לקחת מזון. He's embarrassed to take food. So what he does? You give him the money. ועל ידי תקנה זו לא לחלק מזון כלל למעט מעלה זה מקרבה הנעיתה לגמרי. גם בעלי בת אם יורדים בוודאי מצווה רבה לעשות קופה בשבילם לחלק בדרך כבוד מה שאפשר. He says when you give a charity make sure you give to people with the respect. A lot of people does not give people with respect. A lot of people does not give with a smile. They do in your favor that they're giving it to you. And they make sure you're going to understand it that they're doing you as a favor. Whether by the look, whether by the talk, whether the way they act. It all depends on that. And I'm going to tell you something bigger than that. It's midah mikneged midah. It's measure to measure. Measure for measure. The way you're going to do it, the same way they're going to do it. So you want to expect something, it's the same thing they're going to do. כל מה אפשר, אבל חלילה לגרום מזה מזון ומשאר עניי העיר. He says, God forbid a person should refrain from people to give in a city. Many times there was a situation happened where I turned as an employee from being boss to the employee. And when a person used to give money, he used to be late. Let's say the Friday, he's supposed to get paid on Friday. He used to give on Sunday. Then when you ask him, he says, What kind of rabbi you are? Why are you always running after the money? This is how we work. And they so-called three times a day, they pray. They're forgetting the mitzvah. You need to give the, if the paycheck's supposed to be Thursday, make sure you pay on Thursday. Friday, make sure you pay on Friday. Imagine it could be done to you. Would you like it? Not at all. So why done to others? And we have a mitzvah obligation to give the mitzvah the oraita. On time. We don't like to general pay on time. Pay on time. He has it, don't worry. No, you make a mitzvah. We have a babysitter at night time. You know she's going to come in. Pay her on time. Make sure your money is ready before. But we know it's okay. Listen, her father is rich. He's, he's, he could afford. But she's not working for her father now. You give her the money. I would say, you say, even the katan, you promise to the child, five years old, seven, ten, you promise him money, make sure you're going to give him. Wow. Is that that serious? Yeah, that's that serious. So a person... has to be very, very careful with the money, paying people on time. When proper people need it, give them on time. Lo moshech, do not prolong it. And uh, the world came in, and the guy who used to do this to me, to give a paycheck instead of giving Thursday, or Friday, or it takes a Sunday, or this, Now the time came for me to do the same thing. He doesn't like it. Why don't you like it? Taste the medicine. It's so beautiful. Oh, you're doing revenge then. You should work on yourself. Where's Hashem? How many times Lavan tricked Yaakov Aveno? Some say 10. Aseret Monim. Some says 100 times. What did he was keep tricking? Many times, 
In the families, we say, you're family, you don't need to get paid. That's what Lavan said to Yaakov. We have family, you don't need to get paid. Aren't we relatives? That's a rotten mind. You make people employees, you need to pay them on time. Aren't we family? You making the money on somebody else and count, and we, then you want to call us family? We're not talking about here and there to help somebody. But when it comes to the partners and the, being friends and the family members, what we all of a sudden, we all of a sudden remember when it's a time to give out money, we say, aren't we family? That's what the Laman did. And the Chazal says, don't learn from Laman. He's a Rasha, he's a wicked. Don't learn it. Please read the depths of the Torah. It's so mind boggling how we're able to proceed this. Okay, so we continue. Godel delet, noel delet bifneanim, mahu deite baavod rabinatan. He says, person closes his doors for the person that he need money or food or clothing. Milamet shah beto shil adam patuach lirvecha, lidarom. Rabinatan says, following. We had sages that the doors, they had a f doors in the four corners of the house. East, west, north, south. For what? Kideshi loyo aniim mitzrayim laakif et abayit. The reason they did so the people that are needed they would not be in pain and suffering to go around the house. Who is thinking of us to do each one of us door so the pauper would go around? Who cares if he needs it? He needs to come to me. That's the mind we have, right? That's not sages, what it says. Above it's a phone, it's not that whole bami darom. Can it's but that whole shell a color of hole. I can ask who did this? Eov. Eov did a house with the four openings east, west, south, north. Eov did. Okay? But Arba Pituhim le baito. Avshino be halto le kayem zek who midagua. Our sage says, nobody like Eov. Nobody able to have in that level to have four doors opening. Says not in our level. But he says, God forbid we should close our doors when a poor person want to knock in on our doors. So let me give you an example what means knocking. We don't see United States of knocking people on the door. We right away take a shotgun. We are suspect. Knocking on people's door, which means when people need it, we should give right away. That's what means knocking on the door. We're taking literally, nobody's knocking on my door. Knocking, the Chazal says, the Sage says, when they're coming to you, that's called knocking, and they're asking you, your hand's supposed to be open. So he says, if a person closes the door, he doesn't hear, he doesn't see. Who avon plili? He says it's a big, big mistake. Avon plili, which is, means it's like a criminal. Our sages says, make sure your doors are open when you're eating and drinking. Again. None of our doors is open. It's too cold outside. Our sage says, when you're eating and drinking, don't forget there's a people not eating and drinking. He says, your doors will bring you also a poorness. It says in Masechet Tanit in page 20, Ravuna have kerich rifta patag le dish amar kande tzarich le ite veichol. Rav Khuna used to open his doors and he used to say, whoever wants to come and eat and drink, they used to come and eat and drink. It says in Sanadrin, page 104. It says in Masechet Sanadrin, two nations, and of all the nations, Amon and Moab cannot come, 
cannot be as a converse to Jewish nation. Why? We came out from Egypt, they didn't give us a bread, and they didn't give us a food. Food, which just means bread and water. So your biggest, uh, your biggest supposed to be for me rebuttal, maybe they didn't have it. The nation, there's some nations are poor. Like in Africa, there's a nations are poor, right? They don't themselves don't have bread and water. How think it, can they give to other nations? Correct? That's what you would just say. Chazal says no. Our sage says, Amon with Moab. Balak was the king of the Amon with Moab. Bilam wanted to, Balak hired with a lot of money in order to curse the Jewish people. That means they were so rich, they're able to hire somebody to curse the Jewish nation. Even if we find their benefit of doubt, maybe Amon and Moab did not have bread and water for themselves, why they would give to another nation. Our sages know, they say they had it because they were cheap. It says because they were cheap, they cannot be clinged to Jewish nation. Hashem says, Lo, Amon and Moab cannot be converts. So Rabbi, let me ask you a question. Who is in our days Amon with Moab? We don't know who it is. No, the son Chirif was a king. Is he, what he did, he mixed all the nations. So whoever used to live, let's say today in China, he used to move them to Africa, and Africans, they used to move to the China. So we really don't know who is the Amon with Moab. But the, our sage says, this is the two nations cannot come out to the Jewish nation, cannot be part of the Jewish nation. They cannot come in our, they cannot be clinged to the Jewish nation as a convert. Like it says in Sefer Dvarim 23.5, They would not come out to us with the water and bread. He says, excuse me. We really need this two rotten nations, Amon and Moab. Forty years, Akados Baruch Hu gave us man, which is whatever we want to taste. Forty years, I'm sorry for my language. Number two, we didn't gonna go. Forty years, our shoes did not become wearing out. Our clothing did not become. So for 40 years, HaKadosh Baruch Hu and all the time feed us. So all of a sudden, we make a big deal that Amon and Moab did not give us a bread and water. We hit Sarchai, he says, what Jewish, that's what Jewish people need. He says, there's a so-called Ananei HaKavod, which is cloud of glory. There's a Fuji water by the Ber Miriam which is the best water in the world. And a man, of course, coming in. Torah teaching us Derech Eretz. Be a proper humans. Somebody came to you through your path, give him water and give him bread. Torah teaches us that. Okay? Because Amon and Moab did not give us water and bread. Derech Eretz, Derech Eretz, which just means that somebody proper, so-called being humanity. Proper humanity, which just means it's like in a Sodom. If somebody does charity, they do the opposite. So over here, the Chazal says, don't be like them. Don't be like Amon and Moab. He says, Jewish people really does not need Amon and Moab kindness. We had Akadosh Baruch Hu gave us a man, but then he had a Derech Eretz, he says. So what's the big deal? I will say, Jesus, if a person does not do kindness with somebody, 
Tadanirit, in Kemba in Yaneno, Ani Olech Meir Lair. He says, when a person goes from city to city, Edraglav Mevakesh Mazon Lechazot Nafsho Echad Kama Vakama Godel Avon, Soger Delet Bado, Mone Minono Av Lechem Oni Haze. He says, a person, there's a people, there's a people that come. I just heard a story, real, real story. So the, it happened maybe 10 years ago. The girl was eight years old. Her father and her mother got killed. It was 10 years ago. And the girl was eight years old, left without father and her mother. So they're raised by grandmother and grandfather. The grandmother and the grandfather did not able to raise her. They're old and she have different wants and needs. They could not take care of it. So the neighbor says, I will take it. How many kids the neighbor himself have? Eight. Eight. So he probably have, by, with her, and the wife also, that I'm talking about 10 years ago, he, she gave him another, like four more. So with her, it's considered 13 kids. And what he does for a living, he learns all day. He learns all day. And he comes here once a couple, uh, couple months and he collects money. He collected money for her. He did not show to her that he treated her everything like her, his daughter. That's considered kindness. Like it says, somebody is going to raise uh, with, uh, orphan in the house, it's like this is your child. What's the excuse, excuse he could have, rabbis? It's not my child. I'm sorry, I have my own family. I don't know what's the character of trade this child is. You understand? So, did not think twice and took the child to his house. This is considered, he's not rich, he's not millionaire, he's not, he's a vrech, he's a learner. You see? So when we see such, such a thing happening, and it happens, especially after the October 7, there's a lot of orphans left. There's a lot of people that left without mother and a father. What do we do? Nothing, Rabbi, it's everything good. Israel is giving them paychecks every month, don't worry about them. If that's the mind we're living all the time, if they're going to cry, if the rap of the Hashem will come in, it's not going to be so pleasant. So there's a, such a thing, real cases, real people. And there's uh, you guys donating sometimes in the internet a lot of times, unfortunately, it's a fake and made up. They will get the rabbi because you guys mostly does not know how to read in Hebrew, first of all. So just because it says in Hebrew, that means everything is good. And there's some rabbi that could put a picture and they says, go fund me. So any organization that has to do with the go fund me or with any pictures until we don't know the hundred percent, we don't donate because there's so many people they outgate you. We're talking about not only Jewish. We're talking about non-Jews doing this for Jews. Because the Jews know they are charitable people. So when it comes to the charity by the internet, most of the times I do not do it. There's no charitable by internet because you really cannot check it. They could put any wording they could put, but we have real people that real, real need it real actual people and uh, not just a story real real people thank you very much for coming may hashem give us thank you for listening by hashem we're gonna do thursday and it's uh, the our uh, magila and uh, understanding in the depths of the magila and hopefully in will hashem we're gonna run after tzedakah v'chesed and a person also feels good about himself that is achieving something. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.